Hello, welcome back. We are going to be doing another crackle stone today. Um, so if you didn't get enough out of the crackle flowers that I put up the other day, we're doing more. Um, I painted my handmade stone black and then resined it because I wasn't sure how the crackle was going to affect a handmade stone. Um, but you probably don't need to do this step. Um, let me know if you have used crackle medium on um, a stone that is handmade and whether or not when the paint cracks does it show through to the handmade stone or can you not notice it. Um, so basically I was worried about that so I just resin my stone that I don't lose my back my black background but it probably isn't something you have to do. I'm learning as I go along. <laughs> now I did uh, use a compass to put my circle on there but you can find like anything circular draw around it and then paint a gold uh, use gold to uh, fill in your circle there once that's done I'm gonna fill in the center black with black paint again um, because you need to sandwich the crackle medium between two layers of, of paint so you have to lay down your background paint first, which is the, you can see where it's matte in the center of my stone. That is just a fresh coat of uh, paint that's drying on top. Um, don't mind my messy painted fingers. It's time to redo my fingernails. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use a little finger sponge that I got from Amazon. It comes with a whole set of them. They're all the same size, but they work fabulously. And who doesn't like putting little things on the ends of their fingers? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just sponging that on to get a nice even layer. I'm keeping my gold outline, my gold frame. Uh, this will be a frame again. You guys have seen me do this before lots and lots of times. I'm obsessed with circles. I love circles. They make me happy. <laughs> they're, they're always going. They're never ending. Um... Now I'm going to be using the Folk Art Crackle Medium again. I'm just going to put a uh, quick layer where I have put the fresh matte paint that has dried. You can tell the difference between the resined stone and the matte black center. Um, there's quite a difference between those two. Um, so I'm just going to put the Crackle Medium over top of our dried black matte paint that we put in the center. And then we're gonna let that dry for about an hour. So, so far we've got one piece of bread and then some meat or some cucumber, but we have something on our sandwich already. And we have to put another piece of bread on there a little later, which is painting again. So yeah, you have to sandwich some mediums, some crackle mediums you have to sandwich the uh, medium between two layers of paint. So always start with a base layer that's going to contrast well with what you're painting on top of it. So I'm doing a black background with colorful flowers on top. Um, if you wanted to do a, a red background and black flowers, it would probably look totally different because you have um, that those different contrasting colors. But work with your crackle medium to see what works, see how long it takes to dry. It ends up looking shiny but dry at the same time and that's why I am now painting it. I'm just putting on a nice dark hunter green. I'm doing like some little sprigs of some plants. Um, I'm just making up a bunch of different plants that are going to go um, on this stone now. So I'm using a couple of different shades of green. Hunter green, uh, this is lime green. I will probably be using some bright green as well. Um, I will list all of the paint colors in the description of the video. That way if you want yours to have the exact same color scheme, um, you can take a look at what I used and go from there. Um, but you can also, believe it or not, decide whatever colors you want to use on your own. <laughs> and you don't have to do your flowers and, and leaves and all this stuff just like me. I'm being super simple with it and it's focusing on my giant hand. Um, <laughs> but you can uh, do whatever you want on it. Just I'm just giving you an idea. I'm just showing you what I like to do. Uh, and I love this crackle medium. It just gives it such a beautiful like aged 
little antique looks to it and uh, I just love it. So it keeps going out of focus and hopefully I've learned how to fix that on my camera. <laughs> I'm using a nice melon, pink melon, and I'm not putting it on too thick. You can still kind of see the black through it. Pink melon, then a little bit of magenta. And I'm just swiping it on with a paintbrush. I'm not doing anything fancy. It starts crackling right away. I like to uh, let my crackle medium dry for at least an hour. I just kind of walk away from it and let it dry. And then I like to let the painting over top. So what I'm doing now, I like that to dry for a couple of hours because it continues to crack as it dries. And then when, when I'm ready, I resin it and all those cracks are there and it's finished drying. So it looks magnificent. So I'm just doing like these weird Rachel's Rocks flowers that nobody's ever seen before. Three petals. Um, I'm outlining them with gold. I also outlined bigger leaves with gold, not the smaller ones that I've done. Um, but I'm just doing a very fine line of gold around it. Sometimes my paintbrush touches down on the rock. Sometimes it doesn't. I just kind of sweep it across around the petals, around the leaves. Um, just to give it a little bit of a gold outline because I'm not going to be outlining it with black. So um, I'm just going to kind of get creative with whichever flowers I decide to put on here. Um, a little bit of daffodil yellow and I'm just sponging it on with a little uh, blending brush that I created. My tutorial for my blending brush is in the description or in my list of videos on my channel. I do have over 200 tutorials for you to choose from, from easy to hard, so make sure you check them all out. Um, someone this morning is like, could you please paint a hummingbird? And I messaged them back saying, I have three hummingbird tutorials, and I sent them the link to all of them, but I honestly can't do that all the time. I don't have the time to like get the links and send them to everybody. So make sure you're checking out my video list and check out the merch that I have in my store. I'm going to be adding some more stuff soon. Um, apparently there's some nice cropped hoodies and some really nice like travel mugs and all sorts of stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Um, I can offer blankets and pillows and stuff with with uh, my designs on them as well. Just leave in the comments what you want to see in my in my merch store and uh, any rocks that you like, make sure you're checking for them in my Etsy shop, not in my merch store. My merch store has um, items like hoodies and, and pants and tank tops and, and home decor and stuff like that. So um, make sure you're checking my store for my merch and my Etsy shop for my painted rocks. Um, there I have put a little bit of white underneath those little sponged yellow spots as you can see so they're like little droopy daisies. Um, I'm putting a black circle in the center of those two pinkish flowers that I created just using a dotting tool, big black circle and then I put a couple of gold dots on top of that black circle. They're really hard to see under this light because everything's like shiny while it's while it's drying. Um, so you can see I put these like weird green things sticking out there and now I'm doing like little blue little blue flowers just cute ones nothing realistic of course they do kind of look like bluebells. Um, they're supposed to resemble bluebells but I don't want anyone to be like well they actually have three parts to them not two or you know somebody will say something so <laughs> they're they're my version of little bluebells and they're not realistic so don't count their parts <laughs> um, yeah I'm just putting color in here so it kind of reminds me of once again the vintage tea tin that I got uh, online. It came from England and the crackled flowers on it is what inspired me to start using crackle medium because um, I've just pretty much been sticking to the same stuff all along. <laughs> been afraid to use different mediums um, like a lot of people are. Um, but you don't know till you try it and uh, you don't learn about it. You're not going to feel comfortable. So <laughs> I'm learning about it for us all. Um, I'm putting in some darker green. I think it's probably more of a classic green that I'm using here. Just a couple of different shades of green you're going to see throughout this one. I'm keeping most of my flowers off to one side. 
Uh, don't ask me why. It's just how I like to do them. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can fill the whole thing in with flowers or you can do it however you want it. Um, but these are some simple, simple flowers that we can, that we can do to fill it in and to make it colorful. Um, I did a bunch of little orange dots. Now I'm just going to dot around those dots to make cute little lavender flowers with orange centers. And I put random orange dots in a few different places. So I'm just going to bring the purple around those ones too and fill them all in until there's purple throughout the entire bouquet. There you go. It's, it's a, it's a bouquet. <laughs> Um, all that purple makes me happy. Purple is one of my favorite colors, but when this all blends in together with all different colors, it doesn't matter if you don't think those colors go together or when it comes to flowers, there's no rules. All, all flowers go together, all colors, all shapes and sizes, all non-realistic flowers belong together. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well, staying strong. It's Wednesday. I hope it's Wednesday when this goes up. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I've tried really hard over the last week and a half, two weeks, to get out as many tutorials as I could possibly do. And what I do is I paint a bunch recording that. Um, and then I have to go and edit the, a bunch of them. And then I have to go and narrate a bunch of them and take pictures and all sorts of fun stuff. So it's taking me a while. I'm just using this fuzzy little brush here. It's, it's nothing fancy. It's just a little bit fuzzy on the end. I dip it in gold and then get a lot of the gold paint off so that I'm just a little bit of like sponging on a little bit with the brush and just giving a little gold mass. That's what I'm going to call it, a little gold mass there. <laughs> Different, different types of plants that you've never seen before, but they all look pretty together. Um, I It takes me a long time to edit videos together because I have to like pause a lot and I have to stop and walk away and sometimes I forget to pause it and I walk away and make my kids some grilled cheese and I come back and we've been recording my rock drying the entire time. <laughs> so there's like a lot of editing that comes before you guys get to see these videos. Um, I'm using a very fine dotting tool from the pink chair. Uh, it's like really, 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 really fine for nail, nail art and stuff like that. Uh, but it works fantastic. It's even smaller than my toothpicks. Um, so I'm just kind of dotting like a little sprig of white dots and they're all kind of going in the same direction. They're kind of flowing off to the left. Keeps going out of focus. You'll be able to see this all together at the very end with the resin reveal. Um, but unfortunately, the glare on it, you don't really get to see this very well. So I apologize for that. But it will all come together. I'm, I'm being super um, easy with it. I'm not like trying to freak you guys out with, with detail. Um, but man, I wish you could see it better right now. My, my camera phone, I don't use a special camera to record my tutorials. It's just a phone. Uh, <laughs> so that's as, that's as technical as I'm getting here. And I don't know, maybe I should just reset the defaults or something so that it stays in focus. Um, but you can see I'm just making these little white sprigs kind of flow. I forget what kind of flowers those remind me of, but if somebody sees a resemblance and let me know in the comments. <laughs> I forget the name of them. Um, I'm adding a little bit more green leaves here and there. And once it's all resined, you'll be able to see like every little part. So I'll, I'll kind of hold it at the end so that you can pause it and take a look at, at it uh, while I'm not moving the rock around. And then you can hopefully see all the little details that I've put in there. Everything is crackling. You can see it a lot better now. Um, and bigger areas like leaves, like I'm doing now, I'm outlining with a little bit of gold. Um, there's a little center vein of gold going down some of these leaves. I'm only outlining 
the bigger things with gold. I'm not going around like the bluebells and the daisies. No, not going around those dots either. <laughs> um, and it takes a longer time, I've noticed, for the metallic paint or gold paint to crackle. I'm using like a light pink and dotting some little dots on these flowers, kind of like tiger lilies where they have dots and stuff, um, or lilies in general. I'm, I'm not doing anything else with those, <laughs> just so you know. Now we are done. I'm adding a little bit of chrome powder. It's like a goldish green, and I'm just dusting that on with my finger because I don't want uh, it to just be a dull black background and people are like, what's supposed to be there? You know, <laughs> I wanted something there. Uh, so it's going to be glitter, and I'm not sorry. You don't have to use glitter. You can... Uh, glitter half of it and then paint your flowers over top and you know go from there or you can just dab on some glitter around it some of the glitter is going on the flowers and that doesn't bother me uh, I'm just trying to get some glitter in the black areas um, and then I'm going to of course resin over top of all of this and it's going to look like major eye candy so I maybe should put a little disclaimer in here it might shock you how beautiful this is. <laughs> it might shock you. So you can see I'm using a little finger sponge. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge or DuraClear over top of this um, to keep all that glitter from falling down on the black portion of my rock uh, outside that gold outline. So if you want to keep your glitter in place, always put something to hold it there. Even if you have to use like a clear glue, uh, just sponge on a little bit of glue, let it dry, and uh, go from there. That's wonderful. Now get out your dotting tools and your gold paint because we are going to do some filigree. I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, filigree, delicate and intricate ornamentation, usually in gold or silver. Um, yeah, it's not wire. It's gold paint, but we're going to do like a filigree design. Um, I'm starting off, oh, look at, see, because it's resin, I can just wipe dots off if they don't belong. <laughs> if I put my dots in the wrong places, I can wipe them right off on that resin rock. That's what I love about resin rocks. Uh, I can make as many mistakes as I want and wipe them right off and start over. <laughs> I used to waste stones and throw them away <laughs> or paint over them completely and start over. But you don't have to do that if you have resin. So you guys have seen me do this before. I just do, uh, hopefully, uh, evenly spaced dots around. The best way for me to do even spaces or close to even is uh, if I start at the top and the bottom, left and right, and then go in between all of those and keep going until I'm happy. You can keep spinning your rock and dotting in between those dots, but I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm happy. They look somewhat even. Um, and now I'm taking my little dotting tool and I'm walking the dots around the, the little dot that we put there. I always start at the bottom and walk up one side and then walk up the other side. Sometimes I steal some paint from other dots so I don't have to drag my hand all the way back over to the paint tray. <laughs> my lazy mornings. If I sound like I just woke up, it's because I did. My kids are quiet. My husband is quiet. He's doing home working. <laughs> my kids are doing homeschooling. Uh, and I'm home working. He's actually not home working. He just has online training to do and he's able to do it from home. So yeah. We have a bunch of us here today, and it's very quiet right now. I haven't quite had my coffee yet. <laughs> but I wanted to get this out for you guys early. Um, I know there's a lot of you from all over the world, and I'm not sure what times you see my videos pop up, but I wanted to surprise you with another one today. Um, there was a lot of people who really liked this crackle effect. Um, I was told that uh, by a couple of people they don't like the alcohol ink I wish you would go back to painting <laughs> um, but I just want to let you guys know uh, this is 
a fun place to try different things and not be scared. Um, so I will be trying other other mediums. I might do another alcohol ink one soon. Um, but crackle mediums, glow in the dark, uh, nail polish, art, glitters. There's always going to be fun stuff going on here. And I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back. So thank you so much. And I love you all. Thank you for being so supportive, especially over the last year. It's been really important to me that I can keep going and I can keep you guys going. Keep painting, right? <laughs> I'm going to be putting some keep painting uh, merch in my shop as well. So keep an eye for that. Uh, so this is all I'm doing, guys. I, I did a swoop from big dot to big dot. Uh, and then I did a wishbone attached to those. Um, I did from one dot to the other dot a little wishbone. And now I am pinstriping the wishbone. So you can slow my video down and uh, and chuckle at how ridiculously silly I sound uh, slowed down. A lot of people have told me I sound intoxicated. <laughs> and I probably am. No, <laughs> you guys can slow that down and see what it sounds like. My laugh probably sounds pretty funny though. Um, pin striping, I just go one in the center, one on the left, one on the right, and then I go in between those. I don't like using tools and stuff like that to make everything perfect. I just do the best I can with with what the Lord gave me <laughs> and with my fine lining brush, <laughs> which I made. I didn't buy it. I made it. Um, and I need to produce thousands so that all of you can have them as well. Um, while I'm letting my pinstripes dry, I my gold dots, the ones that we did first, they're dry. So now I can add a black center dot and we're not going to do anything else. That's all. It looks beautiful. It looks intricate. It looks royal almost. <laughs> I want to open it up and find fancy jewelry inside. That's what I want to do. <laughs> no tea bags though. I don't want to open it up and find tea bags. Um, yeah, I really like just random flowers that aren't real even <laughs> just random flowers you know in with a black background and glitter and gold and that's all I need it doesn't look very bright and colorful right now um, but it will now I'm giving you a little sneak peek at the side here I didn't want to like ruin the resin reveal when I put my crystals on because I usually do that I end up showing you the entire thing <laughs> So just to be clear, I wait about five, six hours after I've resined in order to put my crystals on. I use a wax pencil like this and I use crystals from or rhinestones, Swarovski flatbacks. Um, I have a couple of different sizes in little containers. These are my go-to ones. I have way too many more, um, but these are the ones that I use most frequently and there's a couple of different sizes and they're just in this little case that I can whip out and, and do my work whenever I need to. Um, but yeah, I waited until my rocks had cured for about five or six hours so that the crystals don't just slide down the rock um, when the resin is drying. Um, so yeah, I waited and now I'm going to show you. And this is just a little bit of my desk, <laughs> a bowl of uh, foam grips that I've created recently and some alcohol ink. Um, but yeah. This is my desk and this is the rock we just, where did I go? <laughs> I always walk away and then I like, oh, I'm still recording. Here we go. Here I am. <laughs> it is gorgeous, you guys. I really like this one. I love all the flowers. I love all the crackle. I love the sparkle, the glitter, the crystals, the filigree. The black, it all just kind of works really nicely together. And uh, what a beautiful piece, maybe even for Mother's Day. Uh, what a wonderful gift this would be to someone. I will be putting lots of this stuff in my shop, in my Etsy shop over the next little while. Um, people don't like it when they miss out. <laughs> so I have to keep creating. Um, I hope you guys really like this. Let me know what you're going to paint. How are you going to crackle your bouquet? Um, 
Are you going to add the crystals? Are you going to leave the pinstripes out? Let me know what you liked and didn't like. And uh, I really can't wait to uh, make some more. Any ideas that you have for crackle? Uh, someone did mention dragonfly wings would be really cool crackled. Uh, so definitely do that. Definitely try that out. I wanted to give you a bit of a closer look under the light. Um, this was a lot of fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and strong and happy. And keep painting, please. Keep painting and bringing some color into your life. It is more therapeutic than you know. Love you guys. Be back soon. Bye.